guys, Mama Beach here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to talk about how to get started buying luxury goods. And if you're someone like me, that's just a normal person and is not super rich celebrity level wealth, it can be really intimidating to think about spending hundreds or even thousands of dollars on one item and thinking about how to make it a good investment of your money and not just waste your money. So I wanna go over some things that I have learned through trial and error. When it comes to buying luxury goods, where the most safe and greatest place to put your money is, and how do you do that? The first thing that I wanna cover is buying used. If you're somebody that can stand buying used, I know some people just can't do it, it's gross to them, someone has touched it, someone's had their stuff in it, not possible. But if you are somebody that can do that, I strongly encourage you to look for used luxury goods. Now, this means you're going to have to be careful about authenticity because there are a lot of super fakes out there and it's a huge business. So I definitely encourage you if you're buying used to go through a platform like Poshmark or like Fashion File where they do an authentication process. And if you do not, because to be honest, the best deals are on websites like that. The best deals are on places like eBay and Facebook. You should go through an authentication process yourself. So do some research on which authentication websites are reputable, which ones cover the brands that you're interested in. I would ask for people's um, honest reviews and opinions before you use them and definitely always get items authenticated if you're buying used. But the great part about buying used is you're buying something that's already depreciated from when it left the boutique. So you're getting something that maybe someone paid a thousand dollars for. As soon as they put their hands on it and used it, it became a five or a, an eight hundred dollar bag. Let's say. So when you buy the eight hundred dollars, all it has, the only place it has to go is up, maybe slightly down. But it's already had that big jump from leaving the boutique, and you didn't eat that cost. The next thing that I want to cover are brands. There are obviously a lot of luxury brands in this space. Balenciaga, Prada, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Gucci, YSL, tons of them. But there are a few that are better to invest in than others, in my opinion. So the two premier brands that I can actually attain as a normal person, so we're immediately throwing out Hermes, right? Like I am never gonna get a Birkin or a Kelly. Like that's just not attainable for me as a normal person. The brands that I can attain are Louis Vuitton and Chanel. Those are the two premier brands that I can attain as a normal person. So I want to talk about those second. The other two brands that I want to talk about first, which are like slightly under that are Gucci and YSL. So I have a few Gucci bags in my collection. And what I will say is that Gucci is not always the best investment because a lot of their stuff is very trendy. It comes out seasonally, and it looks really cool. It just doesn't hold its value as well because it's not as classic. So if you want to invest in something from Gucci, I would go with something on the classic side. I love their Soho line. Soho Disco is a bag that everyone loves and it holds its value super well. You can see I actually have another Soho bag up there. That is their tote. So Soho line I love. I also love their Affidia line. It is modeled after their vintage stuff so that it can become classic. So I love their Affidia line. I would just try to look for Affidia bags that are recurring through the seasons and not Affidia bags that are seasonally um, released with special designs on them or something like that. May not hold its value as well if it's not a popular um, seasonal line. So just stick to the classics. I will say the same thing about YSL. I love YSL. I honestly think it's probably the most underrated luxury brand and it should be up there with Chanel and maybe it will be someday because their leather quality is so superior. Their hardware quality is fantastic. So I have these two YSL bags I brought up for an example. This is their small walk and this is their um, larger size walk. Walk stands for wallet on chain if you're not familiar with the terminology. Now, the reason that these are the two that I picked up from YSL is because they are, once again, iconic. 
They never go out of style. They're super classy and functional. And when I was looking at buying a wallet on chain, I was stuck between YSL and Chanel because Chanel's wallet on chain walk is also so iconic and it holds its value incredibly well. If you are looking to get started with Chanel, get a walk. It's like $3,000. I might be running a little bit more right now. And that's what they sell for used. It's insane. So like I said, it's a lot of money to spend, but you can get it back if you fall on hard times or you don't feel like you're using it as much as you thought you would. You can get the money back out. I'm telling you, there are ways to do these things. You just need to do a little bit of research and try to buy used if you can. Now these I did buy new, but let me tell you how I got them for such a good deal. I went through Neiman's when they had a sale where you can get a gift card back. So I got like $600 off these bags in theory because I got a $600 gift card back from Neiman Marcus. And on top of that, I used Rakuten. If you've not signed up for Rakuten, please sign up for it. I will put a link below. I got like an additional 20% cash back because I went through that website. So in total, I ended up getting closer to like 30% off these bags, new retail because of all those discounts. Now that's not something that's possible to do with brands like Chanel and Louis Vuitton because they don't sell at um, places like that. And if they do, like there's sometimes inside like a Saks or a Neiman's, there are Louis Vuitton boutiques, um, they're not included in sales. So YSL is a brand that's more attainable because you can get it on sale if you really look for a bargain. The next brand that I wanna talk about is Big Daddy Louis Vuitton. Now. Louis Vuitton, once again, you have to be careful. Not every Louis Vuitton piece you're gonna buy is gonna hold its value. You need to stick to the trifecta. The trifecta for Louis Vuitton is Neverfull. Neverfull, premier, one of their premier styles, will never go out of style. You can get it in three different sizes. I would encourage you not to get the PM. A lot of people don't like it. It's too small, the straps are too short. If you're looking for a good investment, Go with the MM size, which is the medium, or the GM size, which is the large. Those are the bags you're going to see holding their value the best on the resale market. The second bag in the trifecta is the Speedy or the Speedy Bandolier. I encourage you to get the Bandolier version if you can. It is a much more versatile bag. What it is, is it just has um, some little rings on the side of it so you can attach a strap more easily. The regular Speedy doesn't have that, so it's more of a hand or arm carry bag. And a lot of people like the versatility of having the strap. So if you're going to invest in a Speedy, which is another great safe option, definitely try to get the bandolier version if you can. The last bag in the trifecta is the Noe. This is the Neo Noe. So this is their newest version of the Noe. It holds its value incredibly well. It comes in really great neutral colors. And the wonderful thing about these is that the leather on it is treated. So you can get a monogram canvas without the fascetta that's going to get water spots and stains and that sort of thing. This is all treated leather, so it makes it a worry-free, carefree bag. And it's just such a classic silhouette from Louis Vuitton. You can't go wrong. Now I'm going to include a bonus fourth item. They don't make it anymore, so you would have to get this on the resale market. But this is their favorite. It is a crossbody that is wildly popular. I love this bag. It's my mo one of my most favorite crossbodies because it's incredibly easy to use and carry. I encourage you to make sure you get the MM size of this. There is a PM size that's super small and not a lot of people like it. The MM size, it's going to hold its value better because it's more versatile. And all of these are incredibly classic and in that they are carried by Louis Vuitton to this day and every year they are increasing the price on them, which is why they hold their value so well. When you have a bag that a company is still making and they're still demanding more money for it multiple times a year, even on the resale market, that value is going to keep going up. So definitely any of these styles from Louis Vuitton, you can't go wrong. Last but certainly not least, let's cover Chanel. Now, if Louis Vuitton was the big daddy, Chanel is the granddaddy. This is where you're trying to go. And honestly, if I were going to be completely honest with you, I would skip ahead 
just skip all this. I went through this journey where I felt weird spending so much money on a bag. So I got a Gucci, that was $600. And then I got a YSL, that was $800. And then I got a Louis Vuitton, that was $1,200. And I worked my way up to this. But if I could do it over again, go straight to Chanel. It is such an incredible investment if you do it correctly. I highly recommend any of their double flap styles. Double flap is the key word here. If you get a single flap style, I cannot guarantee that it will hold its value as well. People like the double flaps. People like the larger sizes because when you get a double flap, the flaps take up a lot of space and you can't put a lot inside the bag. So if you're gonna really invest in a Chanel piece, look for a medium or large or a jumbo double flap. Get caviar, get caviar leather. It weathers so well, it holds up so well, it will look better after you use it than a lambskin bag. And I would also encourage you, don't buy a seasonal color. This is a seasonal color. I bought it because I loved it, because I love green. And for me, it was worth the price. But if you're trying to make the best investment, stick with black. Stick with even red is a good one, navy, gray, or beige. Those are the ones that are gonna hold their value super well. Now, if you don't want a double flap, get a wok. Walks, we discussed already when I went over YSL, amazing investment, can't go wrong. Great way to get in the door at Chanel for a lower price point that's still a super classic functional bag that's gonna hold its value. Now, if you wanna go a step up from a wok, go look for one of these and it's gonna be hard, I'm sorry. They're so incredibly popular that their value is just going through the roof on the resale market. This is called a mini rectangular. It is only one flap, but it's about as small as a wok and it's a lot deeper, so it can hold an incredible amount of stuff. I mean, it's really surprising. This is caviar leather. It's a seasonal color, it has the ruthenium hardware. I think I paid three or four years ago around three grand for it, which is a lot. I could probably sell this for five, at least five grand now, maybe more, if I'm being honest, because it's in such good condition. I made $2,000. So that's what I'm saying. If you really buy used, treat your bags well, and invest in the right pieces, you can make money buying luxury. I know it sounds crazy. I am not lying to you. <laughs> And if you don't make money, you can at least get your money back out of it or close to it. Just don't buy seasonal. Don't buy retail if you can avoid it. Don't buy trendy. Stick with the classics and you really can't go wrong. That's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. I know I have learned a lot throughout the years of what not to do. So I'm happy to share a little fast forward for you guys. You don't have to go through all the trials and tribulations that I did. If you like this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up so that I know to do more of these types of videos. And if you're new here, I hope you'll hit the subscribe button so that you can join me in looking at all these beautiful bags down the road in my future videos. All right, I'll see you guys on my next one.